Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, if you live in a climate like mine, it has been winter for months already. You are totally sick of it. And tragically, you are facing the reality that it is still not coming to an end anytime soon. Personally, uh, I have only so many options in my wardrobe for sub-zero temperatures, and I am getting very sick of wearing the same clothes all the time. So I wanted to share how I have been mixing up my outfits as winter just keeps on going and how you can too instead of uh, just rotating between the same three sweaters. Okay, so I know checkerboard pattern is the trend, but personally, I'm a fan of grid pattern because, I don't know, I'm just built different. So yeah, that's why I recently painted this white grid pattern onto these thrifted navy blue pants, and I'm in love with how they turned out. Uh, highly recommend painting on your pants. I paired them with this mustard yellow sweater, a blue cardigan over, and my orange slice earrings for an all blue and yellow slash orange look, which is one of my favorite color combinations. And the colorful layered sweaters also keeps me extra cozy and warm. Oh, and for shoes, I went with these little black slip-on ankle boots, which I did just thrift and I'm now obsessed with, so they will be in like half the outfits in this video. Okay, this outfit is absolutely giving Polly Pocket, and I am obsessed with it. The heart earrings, the high ponytail, the pink and purple of it all, I feel like a doll from the 2000s in the best way. Uh, my goal with this outfit was to create a pink and purple look, another one of my favorite color combos. Hence the purple pants, red and purple toned Nikes, pink earrings, pink scrunchie, and of course this incredible grid pattern pink polo that I just recently thrifted. This shirt absolutely gives me grandma going golfing, and yet I'm obsessed with it. I added this pink sweater for warmth and draped it over my shoulders for the look. But truthfully, I probably won't be wearing this shirt alone until springtime. However, it is also cute as a little pink collar poking out from a sweater, so that is my winter option for a polo top. Uh, I also think the hairstyle really adds to this look, and I would definitely suggest mixing up your looks by doing more intentional, fun hairstyles as a sort of accessory. Okay, this look is an absolute triple threat. We've got pattern mixing, we've got a layered tank top, we've got a long skirt with leggings underneath. This is an unstoppable combination that will make women admire you and make men sort of freaked out so they don't bother you. I can't explain why I love these two patterns specifically together so much, but they are truly just chef's kiss. The plain tank top helps to break up the patterns a little bit if you're a little intimidated by the idea of going with a full pattern outfit, plus it adds just that much more warmth. And in this case, I love how the ruffled hem mirrors the ruffled hem of the skirt. Uh, the skirt over leggings thing is pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to mention it specifically with long skirts because often short skirts with leggings are still too cold for winter. Uh, I topped this look off with some more grounding elements, namely Doc Martens and a plain hat that I got at the mall in like 2012 that I wear with everything. Alright, so for this look, I wanted to offer the tip of intentionally styling your comfy wear. Often, I find that in the cold winter, I plan out cute outfits the night before, but then when I get up in the morning in my absolutely freezing basement apartment, I completely scrap them and just go for my go-to comfy items instead. So, might I suggest styling your comfiest items with purpose. In the case of this outfit, the comfy item is this giant blue hoodie. Honestly, I wear it every single day when I get home from work, but to make it more of an outfit, I added these green pants because I just love this shade of like tealish green with this true blue. Just a fresh and delicious color combo, IMO. Uh, then I paired it with a fitted black turtleneck underneath, big hoop earrings, Nikes, and a hat, and suddenly it's a casual street style look, but it is still extremely comfy. Okay, remember that weird iteration of the I'm not like other girls phenomenon in like 2015 where it was like supposed to be some sort of flex to be someone who wears all black all the time? Uh, that sucked and I'm glad it's over. However, maybe the girls had some points. There's no denying all black outfits do sort of create instant classic style. Uh, this one specifically makes me feel very like rock and roll with my leather jacket, oversized sweater, black jeans, and Doc Martens. Uh, oh, also, spring and fall jackets, such as leather jackets, are great to wear as part of like your indoor under the winter coat outfits in the wintertime as some extra warmth instead of just saving them as outerwear for those warmer seasons. Also, I wore this outfit to work the other day and a kid said I looked like a spy, so what more could you want from an outfit? Okay, I can't explain why, but this outfit makes me feel like a European cartoon child. I think it's the hat. I feel like a cross between Madeline and Paddington and like an American Girl doll, and I gotta say, I am loving it. Uh, I love that this outfit is sort of symmetrical on like the top half and the bottom half. 
black hat and black shoes, white pants and white turtleneck, and then this bright red-orange overshirt in the middle. I think an all black and white look with one big pop of color looks very put together and creates a great overall visual impact. Uh, another great thing about this outfit is that the whites of the sweater and the pants do not actually match and they would look weird together on their own, but when they're broken up by another color, you can't really tell. Alright, so for this look, I wanted to challenge myself to try out the current trend that is the color brown. Honestly, I think I'm too old for this trend because it just reminds me of 2005 and therefore I do not like it. But I do have like two brown items in my wardrobe, so here they are. Uh, this brown t-shirt is a favorite of mine. I got it at a gift shop in Glacier Park and it features a cowboy asleep at the reins with the dog steering the horse instead and the words designated driver underneath the picture. Extremely iconic for obvious reasons. Uh, I layered it over this tan turtleneck for warmth, then added in this brown tone short sleeve summer button down over the top to add a pattern and mask the fact that the turtleneck is actually way bigger than the t-shirt and doesn't really fit underneath it. Uh, then I added tortoiseshell earrings for another brownish accessory and kept the bottom plain with black pants and black shoes because there's so much going on on the top. For this next look, I wanted to show a sweater vest layered over a turtleneck sweater because I always wear mine like this but I never see them styled this way. So hot tip, I think it is very chic and also very cozy. Uh, I paired that with my purple pants and then added my clay orange slice earrings because orange and purple is another one of my favorite color combos. For shoes, I did those same little slip-on black ankle boots, and then for the pièce de résistance, I added this gorgeous scarf just hanging over my shoulders, which makes me feel like a very chic artsy professor because I had a weaving professor in college who wore scarves like this every day. And okay, not to simp on Maine, but my boyfriend's mom gave this scarf to him to give to me last Christmas and their family is Punjabi and she got it in Punjab the last time they were visiting there like years ago and just decided to give it to me even though she barely knew me and yeah it's just very special to me. Alright, for this outfit I wanted to style a summery wrap top for winter by layering it over a fitted black turtleneck. Uh, I maintained the black palette and let the top be the statement piece by choosing plain black pants and shoes. But then, to add a little more interest, I added this uh, gold necklace with a crystal charm that I actually bought at Michael's. The necklace is a hand-me-down from my mom. And then I added these silver cicada earrings. Uh, I love that insect earrings are like beautiful but also a little creepy. Such a power move. This outfit makes me feel like the evil queen character going to meet with my nemesis to cast a wicked curse upon them. Like, Maleficent who? Alright, and here is our last outfit, which is a black turtleneck, black leggings, and black shoes with this longer summer dress. All the base layers in this outfit keep you warm, and the plain black serves as a backdrop to the true fashion item of the outfit, which is of course this gingham dress, which I sewed myself, by the way, brag. Uh, I added this fluffy black hat just for some character, and then this little woven bag because I think it goes with the dress, and I've just been waiting all winter to use this, but fuck it, woven bags can be for winter too. Also, this thing is pretty dang spacious actually, like I could definitely fit all my purse items in here. Uh, this outfit makes me feel like Little Red Riding Hood for some reason, and I would like to wear it to carry some goodies through the woods to a grandmother. Alright, those were all my outfits, all my tips and tricks. Uh, if you liked them, or if you got anything at all out of this video, give me a like, give me a comment, help me in my quest to beat the algorithm. Also, subscribe to see what I do next, and uh, comment if there's anything in particular you're interested in seeing. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you, personally, so much, and uh, see you next time. Bye!